budget motorized sliders usually comes with an array of problems and different trade-offs like bumpy starts and stops. They're often too noisy to use for things like interviews and the control units they come with often feels pretty clunky and annoying to use. So I'm not sure how Canova managed to pull this off, but they did. Hi there. There's few camera gadgets that I've wanted more than a motorized slider. They're just so cool. There's so many things you could do with them, product shots, B-roll and what have you. But the question for me has always been if it's actually worth the investment, especially if you're someone that's kind of new to the game and you don't feel comfortable or have the means to invest into the more expensive brands on the market. The Canova Wireless Motion Pack starts at $269 for the short 60 centimeter P1 slider and the longer 120 centimeter or 47.2 inch model currently sells for $329 and that's including the new KMS S3 motor, which is a super duper affordable price. Feel free to, to look around. I'll give you a second. Okay, so this was kind of annoying, but the plate that I used for the slider here is a little too low with some cheap third-party plate, so you will see a little bump here as the slider kind of bumps into the base on the tripod. Ah, typical <laughs> when you want to show something. Anyway, I decided to opt for the 80 centimeter or 31 and a half inch model as it offers a bit more versatility while still being more portable than the longer 39 and 47 inch models. I can still use the 80 centimeter or 31.5 inch model for things like interviews, even if they won't be as majestic as the longer models, but it's gonna be way easier for me to lug around and rig on location using fewer stands and all that stuff. The slider itself is made out of carbon fiber and aluminum and can handle payloads of up to 22 pounds or 10 kilograms. The S3 motor, apart from running incredibly quiet, can handle payloads of up to 17 pounds or 8 kilograms horizontally. And if you put it diagonally in an angle, it will handle payloads of up to 6.6 .6 pounds or 3 kilograms and 2.2 pounds or 1 kilograms vertically. And by the way, when I say quiet, I mean, you won't be able to hear it unless you're running it on full speed. But even then it's going to be so quiet that it won't be picked up by any microphones on set. Okay. So we're doing a quick little sound test here. I've placed the slider pretty much where I normally sit here in the studio. So it's pretty much straight under the microphone here the Sennheiser MK600, which is a condenser microphone. So it will pick up a lot of things, but I think it's going to pick up the wasp here in the studio and not the slider. So let's start the slider and have a listen. It's also able to run incredibly slow at just 39 inches or one meter over the course of 24 hours, which is great for all of you astro and time-lapse shooters out there. The motor can be powered with a Sony MPF style battery and over USB, which is obviously great when you want to bring your slider with you out on location. And that makes rigging and setting up so much easier. You can also trigger your camera with the motor with the included shut release cable. Just let Canova know what camera brand you're using when you're ordering your slider. And on top of this, everything comes in a nice sturdy carrying case, which lets you transport the slider with the motor attached. Now, using the slider is actually pretty straightforward. I prefer to have it mounted on a tripod with a bowl so I can adjust and make sure it's in level. But you can place the slider directly on a table or on the floor or ground 
and use the adjustable legs to make sure everything is perfectly leveled. In the center of the P1 slider, we have this adjustable rod for getting parallax shots. It's a pretty simple solution, but it works great and eliminates the need for a motorized head. The motor is controlled with a smartphone app and I've only used this slider for video, so I won't be covering any time-lapse features in this video, but I'm pretty sure it's as straightforward as video settings. You can set your start and stop points on the app, adjust the time or the speed with which the camera will move from point A to point B, and whether the slider should do one pass or if it should loop continuously between the different set points. The ramp in and out makes sure that you get a smooth start and stop whenever the slider reaches the end of its travel, both in loop and in single fare mode. Getting smooth starts and stop have been a problem with other affordable sliders that I've looked on in the past. So overall, there's not a lot to complain about this far. Now, there's plenty of mounting points on the P1 slider for stands and extra support, and the overall design and build quality feels very rigid and solid. The one thing, if we were to complain about something that I've noticed, is that you can't really move the slider by hand once you've attached the battery to the motor. So if you're in a hurry, you might want to position your camera roughly where you want your starting point to be before you attach the battery. Now, I wanted to make this review as honest and as transparent as I possibly could. By the way, this is not a sponsored video or anything. I bought this myself, but this is my first experience with a motorized slider. So that said, my previous experience is none. It's very, very limited to say the least. But I've been very, very happy with this slider and I can't say that I've actually found any flaws or things that could be a potential deal breaker, especially for people in my shoes with my level of experience, but even for more seasoned and experienced users. Now, unlike sliders from brands like Rhino or Edelkrone, the amount of accessories and ways that you can kind of expand the slider or the system is obviously going to be a bit more limited. There is a motorized head that works with the slider and the app and everything, which I haven't tried. I might pick one up later on. If I do, I promised you that I will make a separate review on that motorized head. But for your typical YouTube studio, or your run and gun or corporate gigs, this slider will certainly get the job done as is without a ton of accessories. So once again, not a sponsored video, but I will put a link down below to the place where I bought mine. Keep in mind that it's listed in Australian dollars and not in US if the price seems a bit off. But check it out and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.